I'm happy to introduce Yen Trong, who is part of the 2007 fellowship class. Yen did her fellowship in the office of Congresswoman Lois Capps and is now a maternal fetal medicine physician with the Permanente Medical Group. So my first question for you is how would you describe your fellowship experience in a few words or a phrase? I would say it was amazing. You know, I learned a lot. I got to meet some very interesting people, both within um, my office as well as in other offices and my other fellows. That's great to hear. Thank you. What skills or opportunities that you received as a fellow do you think were the most useful for the rest of your career? To just know the structure of how a legislator's office works um, and get a sense of what each staffer's role is, what the management structure within an office is. So that way, I fully respected that, yes, I wasn't meeting with a member when I'm lobbying sometimes nowadays, but that meeting with their staffer is just as important, or if not more so. It kind of got me out of my shell because it was something that was totally new to me as a medical student to be thrown into health policy. Um, and so it helped me in terms of being able to say, you know what, this is a place where I'm not the expert. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but that's okay. And to be able to enjoy that experience as as something new was really great. My next question is, how did your time as a fellow influence your future career? I did my fellowship in the middle of my uh, fourth year of medical school. So, you know, I became an OBGYN and then now I'm a subspecialist in high-risk pregnancies. But it has changed my career in the sense that of my extracurricular activities as a physician. So now I'm the legislative co-chair of um, at the American College of OBGYNs in California, having the experience on the Hill as a fellow really helped in terms of boosting my confidence, really helped in terms of being able to navigate the, the advocacy arena that I now live in. Taking that experience and applying it to now my background as a physician and seeing how best I can advocate on behalf of women's health and on behalf of physicians um, in California really helps. Yeah, that's amazing to have that uh, an experience working on the Hill as a medical student. I imagine that was a very interesting shift, but sounds like it was very valuable. Why do you think opportunities such as the fellowship are so important for young women? I think a lot of us as women are afraid to seek new experiences that are outside of our comfort zone. You know, a lot of my co-fellows were scientists, social workers, not really people who went in to college thinking, I want to work in a legislator's office. I think one of the best things that I took from the fellowship is not only the knowledge in terms of how government works and how health policy is made, but I think it's also knowing the connections that I made. You know, like I'm still friends with some of the people that I met during my fellowship and other offices who are now chiefs of staffs for legislators or who are now chief lobbyists for biotech companies or whatever it is. And so having that those connections and being able to say, hey, you work in maternal child health clinics. Like, you know, how can you help me as an, as an OBGYN is really useful. Yeah, that's amazing to use that experience. And now, yeah, get to be an advocate for your patients as a doctor. That's fantastic. And so my final question for you is, how has female leadership inspired you? Seeing female leaders tells me that it's possible. That, that you, you, maybe you can't have it all. And I, I, I heard of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, where she has mentored a lot of women. She said, you, you, can have it all but just not at the same time and taking that to heart and saying you know what now that I see women leaders I can see that okay maybe they took a few years off but that's not the end of the world that that's not the end of our career as as a doctor or as a politician or as a health policy leader that it, taking that quote time off actually helps shape our perspective and it helps make us an even better leader. Well, thank you so much, Yen, for sharing your stories from your time as a fellow and your continuous support of the fellowship. We are so grateful to have you as our featured fellow this month. Thank you.